Um, okay, let me just move my washing because it feels really weird having that in the background. Wednesday and my creative juices are flowing um, due to the current coronavirus situation. What will we explain soon after I've had tea? Um, this video will probably be mainly outlining what those ideas are, who they apply to, and the options I will hand over to you. Okay, so I'm heading back to Mum's now to go and hack some ponies because it's Wednesday and then I've got a lesson with Carl um, this afternoon but I can't film it because I made the option, I made the choice, sorry, to not film my car lessons out of respect for privacy to him. Um, but anyway, that is what we're doing today. I was about to say something to you. Yeah, oh. Really sorry, a few people commented on my last vlog about my camera making this like churning sound, like clunking. That is because I need a new one. Um, <laughs> I need a new one. This one is so old. It's my original camera of vlogging and I think it's seen better days. Um, so when I can get enough money together to buy another one, I will. But obviously with the current corona situation, I had to cancel um, my Essex clinic, which I was meant to be doing um, Thursday, yeah, tomorrow and Friday, which has put me a thousand pounds back, um, which is a huge hit on my monthly earner. Um, so, yeah, it's not ideal, but. I've, it's okay, I'm resourceful. I'm a resourceful business lady. Um, so I will figure something out, which I'll tell you about later. <sighs> I feel like it's going to be a win-win situation, this. I'm feeling really pumped up about it, really happy. Um, it's going to open the table up. Open the table, open the floor up a lot more for people. Um, yeah. I just got home and um, the girls just drove past me and it's made me realise... Oh, I'm so terrible at updating. Um, we have a new head girl and I didn't even tell you guys. How did I miss this one out? Um, so Kat has left um, to follow a different career path and we now have a lady called Kate with us. <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, it's quite a hard thing when you're switching over um, people who you're working with because it's like getting them used to the new routine. It's also quite sad when someone else goes. Um, so, yeah, that's all been going on. Um, but yeah, Kate is lovely. Oh, she's really cool. Uh, so I will introduce you to her at some point. Maybe not today because I'm just letting her settle in. It's a bit harsh to like shove a camera in her face. Um, but yeah. Hi, Willie. Willie says, everybody, I'm getting quite old. My back legs aren't working as well. Weedy weedy woo. Weedy weedy woo. Why is it hot on my own? Hey, why? Because it got so wet. <laughs> Hello, sausage. Ah, 
my god, she's off. See it from this distance, you can't see the pheasant. Baby bee is chasing a pheasant. Bowley? Where's Paris? Paris, hurry up. Eagle is off. did Barbie in hand um, and yesterday she was wild I think it's because I didn't have time to do her on Monday and then Sunday was my day off so she hadn't been done for a little bit um, and I just think her mind she just can't cope um, but that's okay like I said I'm quite happy with her on the end of the rope um, even when she's being quite naughty um, but today she was really really good and I put her out onto a circle in the walk and got her to relax in that and then I gave her a little bit of a trot. Now considering she hasn't trotted for months, I mean, okay, she has when the vet's checked her, um, but he's given her a little bit of sedolin. Um, considering she hasn't trotted for months, she was so well behaved um, and so like respectful of me and she didn't like kick off or buck or anything. You could see like she wanted to, but she's like, no, okay, mummy, I'm gonna relax. Um, and she looks amazing. She looks like 100% good to go. Um, I'm just waiting for the vet to check her over once more. And then I'm hoping that I can crack on with her, but I'm just so glad I've been able to do the groundwork with her um, for her mind and her body. Um, and also to help us when we get back into work. Good girl. Sausage has just done his in hand before his lesson with Carl. Woo! Um, yeah, he's like literally an old pro at it. So I was thinking of setting up um, the Pixio, which I need to start using again. And then I can film like a whole groundwork session with him and show you guys what I do. Um, and then, yeah, if you're interested in learning, you just need to go to Tristan Tucker or Claire Gallimore. Um, and they'll show you. It's great. Shall we go to Carl's? Yeah? You excited? No? <laughs> Like, no. Um, I just got home. It's like quarter to six. Uh, and when I got to my parents' house, I saw that something had been delivered. My dad, unfortunately, unboxed it before I could get to it. Because I was meant to be doing like an unboxing thing. Um, 
because I've been waiting for this for a while and it's really special and he'd opened it. But anyway, I reboxed it. So this is from a company called Mulberry Tree at Home and they have done something really special with sausages, shoes um, that he did his first Grand Prix in. I did my first Grand Prix in. Um, yeah, they contacted me a while ago seeing if I wanted to do um, or wanted to send them some of the shoes have them made into something and I was like yes and then it just turned out that they were sausages first Grand Prix shoes which is so exciting um and also they want to make uh, another one of these so that I can give it away to one of you guys on my social media platforms which would be really cool but anyway I will show you what it is oh so exciting I've already seen it I know what it is yeah da, da, da. Oh, there's polos. So it is a tray and the handles are sausages shoes. I'll get some close-ups in a sec. Um, they've also sent some polos, which is so cute. And a card. I'll read the card. Um, hello. Oh. I can't get in. Yeah. Um, wait. Let's see what it says. Um, Olivia, we hope that you and Sausage love the tray. Oh, cute. We've sent some polos for Sausage to share with his pals. Sausage is not going to be impressed. He has to share these. So exciting. Oh, right. Um, I will, hold on, put that in there and I'll show you like a close up of the actual tray. Do you know what's really funny? These shoes were quite old when I took them off, Will. And they're so sharp there. Oh, well. Oh, so sweet. Let's give you like a full... A full... Oh, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I mean, could I leave it there? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'll get back to you on where I'm going to leave it. Um, yeah, so massive thank you to Mobby Tree at Home for gifting me that tray. It's so lovely. Um, and stay tuned because I'll, put, 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 I'll be putting out on my social media how you guys can um, yeah, enter to win one. It's going to be super easy to do because I don't like doing giveaways that are all like pushed around just oh you must follow this you must do this x y and z it's literally to give someone the opportunity of having this wonderful thing that's the main aim of it um so that is what it's going to be geared towards so uh i might eat the polos before sausage i'm joking sausage if you're watching this uh but anyway now i'm going to tell you about the next exciting thing that was meant to be the whole vlog around and i got carried away um, what I'm going to be doing during the coronavirus situation with my teaching, with my business. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, okay, let me just move my washing because it feels really weird having that in the background. Okay, um, so basically, uh, the coronavirus... I know have um okay so basically with everything that is going on worldwide with the coronavirus and situations changing quite quickly um i've had to adapt my business quite quickly which i sometimes think is quite a good idea because it like shakes you out of your old habits it makes you realize things can be done um differently it challenges you it makes you use your imagination and creativity so i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing obviously the coronavirus is not a good thing um and it's really really scary but i mean business wise for me at the beginning of the week or even tuesday i was panicking about it because i had to cancel my essex clinic which i've told you was um financially quite a strain um and i've now today received news that my scotland clinic has been cancelled with the demo up there and that was meant to be a week's full teaching so that financially is a very big strain um and yeah a lot of demos that i was doing in the next couple of months have been cancelled um and things 
things looked a little bit bleak until I had the idea to see if people would be interested in doing online lessons so like virtual lessons over FaceTime or this app called Zoom um, and basically have like wireless headphones in or have their phone in their pocket um, and have me on like a phone call sort of thing whilst someone else is filming on another phone um, and see yeah if they were interested in having that as an option and it kind of went massive and people got really excited about it and people who not even just to do with the fact that they couldn't travel in this country because of the coronavirus but people who were like international who would never normally get a chance of having a lesson got really excited about it and sort of jumped on the bandwagon so that is the first option for my um online training that i'm going to be start doing i'm going to start doing sorry so it's a live lesson basically um and that is 40 pounds for a 45 minute lesson um, i'm going to put contact details if you guys want to book on at the end of this um so that is the first option and it's just like a normal lesson uh yeah so it's great um and i'm quite flexible on times that i can do I'm quite flexible if I'm doing it internationally as well. I don't mind doing that. Um, so that's super exciting. So all you need for that is someone to film you from a phone on either FaceTime or Zoom. I think Zoom is the easiest to be honest. Um, you need someone to film you um, and you need either wireless headphones or you need two phones so I can call you on one and film on the other. Um, and that is basically it, super easy. And then the next option that I have brought out, and I literally thought of this one this morning, is that I'm going to do the option where you can send me a video in of you riding, um, and then I will send you a video back of me like talking like this, um, basically giving you feedback on things that I think you need to improve on, things that I think you're doing well, um, tips I have, exercises I think you should try. And so that is option one. For that it's basically a feedback video of you riding um so that is 25 pounds and i do need to think of like a, a cut off limit for the length of videos that you send me so bear with me on that because this is obviously all still in the making um and then my video that i will send you back will probably be like a couple of minutes long they might be a little bit longer um because i tend to go in depth with things quite a lot and then I was thinking with this option of sending videos and getting feedback, it would be great if we could put a follow-up option in. So you can have just the one video, which is £25, or you can have where we have two videos, um, which is £40. So it's a £10 savings. Yeah, if you get two together. And what that means is that I can watch your first video, give you feedback, then you can go away, work on it, give it a go, and then send me another video of like trying it and then i can give you feedback on that um and if you guys want to like continue just doing it like regularly then that's cool i'm happy with that um so that's the other option and i think this just opens it up opens up the world of teaching so much more to people um and i was thinking even after the virus and stuff has worn down and we've got through this it's something that i might keep open because to be honest it's amazing um, the response I've got and I do want to add with that um, I only have so many hours in the day so it is going to be a little bit first come first served with it uh, so if you are interested it's best to drop a message as soon as possible and we can get you booked in um, I am asking for upfront payments beforehand just so that I know um, people are serious about it and then I can book you in if lessons don't go ahead um, for different reasons then you'll get a refund as long as it's not too close to the lesson time so I think we're gonna put like a 12 hour cancellation policy in place um, obviously if connection fails and we can't do it that's just something that happens with technology then you will be refunded as well um, yeah I'm gonna put all of this into a document basically explaining it but I wanted to give it a little run through on here before I did um, I'm actually really excited about it feeling quite positive because I was quite nervous at the beginning of the week about how I was going to um, pay my mortgage, um, pay bills, uh, generally like keep the business going, keep the business afloat but you know you've got to keep changing with the times 
Um, and I do think like, not just talking about business, what, you're, what I'm noticing from the pandemic over the world is just how amazing people are and how much we can pull together and be there for each other. And you see the kindness that people um, are offering through social media, through the news, and just even in my community. And I think it's just absolutely heartwarming. Um, and sometimes I feel like it takes something like this to happen for us to kind of think about how we were living, think about how we were doing things. And I think now it's weird, like we're having to isolate ourselves, but it's bringing everyone so much closer. Um, and in a generation and in a world where we get everything when we want it and we get it instantly, now we're not. I think that's really making us think how like, lucky we are and be grateful and yeah I just um, I'm just gonna keep praying for everybody who is suffering with it whether that's like um, health wise um, business wise time wise um, but yeah at the moment I'm seeing a lot of uh, beautiful human beings out there um, but anyway that is basically the end of this um, I might do another vlog by the end of today. I did want to add into this as well. I'm going to look at getting my Pixio up and running and get some more videos of me riding because I know that's been lacking recently. Um, that is just due to being very, very busy. But now I think I'm going to be staying at home a little bit more for the foreseeable future. Um, so this could be possible. Um, but anyway, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you are interested in joining the online training, um, I will leave my email in the comments and I will put my email here, which I'm now talking, um, so it will appear there. And yeah, just drop us an email, we can get you booked in and get you sorted. So uh, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, it was a bit of a spontaneous one. Um, and yeah, I will see you very soon for the next one. I wish to be something special I wish to be, I wish to be me